Hello True Believer, today we're going to go through how to do, introduce uh, primitive shapes. So this is sure one of the series that we'll be following. There's the link if you're stuck, uh, which I'll put in the description down below. So these are all from Tinkercad's website itself, and they're very useful uh, introduction activities. So introducing 3D activities, let's click on down here. So the first thing when you look at 3D shapes, this is what we'll be looking at. So you've got your cube, your cylinder. Um, cylinder with the middle extracted out of it, or a tube, a sphere, a torus, or a donut, and then a cone down the end. Now Tinkercad has all these basic shapes down here in this menu here, and you can basically just select them and drag them, put them on. So if I want to put a cylinder on, so literally click on it and put it down. Okay. So that's basically what we need to have. Now the whole reason we do primitive shapes is um, when we create a shape, it built, it's like building blocks. So there's a sphere, there's some cylinders, and some other little more complex shapes, and we've made a little turtle by putting it all together. Okay? So, um, that's basically what a primitive shapes are and what you'll be using to, in Tinkercad for the rest of the um, course while you're doing this. So, welcome to design. Um, what they're going to get you to have a look through here, basically, is all the different primitive shapes. And you can add and subtract them by using uh, Boolean um, operations. Now, what a Boolean operation is, is basically if you put two shapes together, like so, um, up here in the menu, um, once you click and select like that, you can group. Okay, so if you group it, there's an additive function, and now I've made a new shape. Okay, which we'll go through more in depth later on. Okay, so I'll just delete that. So if we look at um, these different shapes, so this is, another, again, a more complex shape built up of primitive shapes. The question they're asking is how many shapes have put into this, okay? So if you look at it, it it's, it's totally up to you how many you want to sort of make up. So there's a whole heap of different ways that you can create this. So I'll give you a real simple example of how quickly it is to make something like that. So if we make the cube down here, put his legs in like that and then again this is very rough if I go alt and drag that out and duplicate and then duplicate again and then I put another cube down the bottom of the base There's the seat. Like that. And then if I uh, duplicate that again. There's a real rough version of that chair that's been made. Okay, so I'll, I could spend a little bit more time sort of finicking around. And then if we wanted to group that, we go like that. And there we go. We've made our first non-complex, uh, non-primitive shape. Okay, so that's one way that you could potentially do it. Um, so in that case, I use six shapes, but um, later in the track, they can actually use with five shapes. So you could use Boolean um, addition where you re re remove space for the top there. Um, the six shapes is the way that I did it just really quickly. Uh, or you could use the Minecraft approach where you do 240 shapes. So you literally put blocks in everything. There's actually a fourth way of also doing this um, where you basically would do the same as this way. Except for the bottom, you could use Boolean um, subtraction for the legs. So you could put a, a, a hole and a hole that way inside of a block. So you could have four blocks put together. But that's just one way that you could sort of do it. Okay, so that's what they basically wanted you to do through this bit here. So if you look at something like this, this is a space station. They want you to see how many primitive shapes are inside of this. So if you have a look there, just have a bit of a think. Um, and it's just a mixture of all these different shapes all the way through here. 
So first identify the different shapes that there are. So you can probably see that there's gonna be a sphere, there's gonna be a cylinder, and then this looks a bit more like it's coming in, so it's probably a cone. So you wanna see how many spheres, how many cones, and all those different types of shapes you can see inside each of these blocks, okay? So we go to the next page. Obviously there was the, um, the cylinders around the middle here and in the um, very center of it all. A sphere for the roof and the top of each of these. And then a cone, two cones down the bottom here. Um, a really good view, um, sort of I call it the Ikea view, is where we expand it and then that's what that looks like there. So you get to see all the different shapes inside of it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So why is that important? Um, like I said, your shapes that you'll be building um, will be based off all these primitive shapes merged together. So you need to get a good understanding of these primitive shapes and how you can use them um, to build other more complex shapes. Okay, so there's a video here that you can have a look at if you want to have a look at the Force Awakens and how they use 3D models to um, sort of make the special effects in there. And that's pretty much all I wanted to go through. So hopefully that helps. Um, have a look, play around, and enjoy.